Hey, and welcome to Growing Trees from Seed with Jeremiah Johnson, 84. Today is part two of Acorns to Oak Trees. And if you haven't seen part one of Acorns to Oak Trees, feel free to click on the video link above and you'll be instantly redirected to the first episode. And if you have seen the first episode, welcome back. In today's episode, we're going to be looking at how to store and save your acorns for sowing and planting in the spring. And I also wanted to show you the beautiful fall colors that come with these incredible different varieties of oak trees that you don't necessarily get at the end of the summer. So the purpose of today's video is to show you how to save your oak tree seeds and acorns and to properly store them over the winter so you can plant them properly in the spring. So I've saved acorns from both two different types of categories, being the black oaks and the white oaks. And the white oak, here we have specifically the burr oak. And secondly, from the black oak category, we have one of my other favorite oak trees, the red oak acorn. And as you can see, there's strikingly difference in comparison to one another. The burr oak has that little feathered cap on, while the red oak has just a simple flat top cap. So now that we've differentiated between the two oak seeds or acorns that I'll be using, I'll show you how to store them. So I've got some peat moss uh, mixed in with some organic soil and feel free to use any type of soil or peat moss that you may have and the purpose of this is to allow the seeds to stay dormant over the winter like they would naturally in nature. So I've added my water to moisten up the peat moss and I'm going to take another bag here that I'm going to be keeping the acorns in. So I'm going to go into my pre-mixed soil here and grab a little bit of peat moss and what I'm going to do is simply take my red oak acorn and as you can see it's quite moist. I'm taking the acorn and I'm just going to plant it, put it directly on top of the peat moss here. Just like it would as if it were falling from the tree in nature, landing in the moist organic soil and then being covered up with leaves, debris, pine needles and other organic matter that may cover it up before the snow hits. So now that I've placed my red oak acorn into the peat moss in the plastic bag, I'm going to label it so I don't forget, and I'm also going to make note of where I found the acorn and the date that I found it. And this is going to help you when you plant your acorns to make sure that you're planting it in a similar environment. For example, if you find an acorn that's in a very moist, uh, well-drained area with very heavy shade, you're going to want to plant that oak tree seed in similar settings. That way the plant itself will thrive there because that's where the tree itself was originally grown and doing very well. And the main reason for this is because trees generally don't show their stress or weaknesses for up to 20 to 30 years. That means when you have an old growth oak tree and you've decided to take the acorn and use it for your own planting, you'll be assured that, that tree is going to grow into a very healthy tree given the environment that you chose to plant it in. So. Now I've got my burr oak seed planted away here, and you notice that I did mention that the burr oak was from the white oak category, and that means it doesn't necessarily need that period of dormancy that, say, the red oaks or other trees from the black oak category would need. So the burr oak or other whites can actually be planted immediately after you pick them from the tree or find them on the ground. So keep that in mind when you're choosing your different oaks. So there you have it, we've got our two acorns packed away and I'll be keeping them in the fridge or in a cold cellar in a dark place just to kind of help simulate that period of dormancy that they would otherwise find in nature. And if you haven't seen part one, which I encourage you to do so, I threw in this quick clip just to remind you how to find out whether your seeds are good to save or maybe best to leave below by the tree. As you can see, it's a simple float test. The acorns that float probably are weevil infested or might not be doing too well, and the ones that sink are good to go. So thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed part two of Acorns to Oak Trees. And please feel free to check out my other videos where I have many different tree saving videos such as growing maple trees from seed. Please click on the video link above to be instantly redirected to this video and many other videos from the tree series Growing Trees from Seed. So thanks again. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe and rate. 
and we'll see you next time.